The time is now. The city is Melbourne. The place is Channel 7. For the first time on TV, a horror movie made for TV staff. Muckle Productions proudly present Exorcist 3, The Studio Camera. Starring Reggie Strachan as the TD. Damn this bloody camera! There's another one for the fault book. Len Scover as the maintenance supervisor. There's only one man for the job. Cameron Tubes as the religious technician. Three cameramen are in hospital because of that camera. Nobody will go near the studio. Cameron, you're our only hope. I'll do it. Never before has electronic equipment been so crassly exploited. See scenes of unsurpassed suspense. Who are you? I am the devil. Bullshit! You will shit in your pants when you see Exorcist 3, the studio camera. Good evening and welcome to the ABC's America's Cup Report. Tonight on ABC's Wide World of Yachting, we'll be looking at how the diggers from down under use their illegal kill to win the America's Cup. In the Netherlands today, members of the defending syndicate visited the Dutch Marine Laboratory. The New York Yacht Club's attempt to find out about the Australian kill was met with stony silence from the Dutch laboratories, despite an offer of two and a half million dollars to cover the costs of sending telexes. Australia too got off to a good start and turned into the third leg five and a half minutes ahead of Liberty, but a courageous effort by the Americans with an outboard motor helped them close the gap. The crew of Liberty began using the Mercury 200 horsepower outboard rudder, which incidentally was voted as a legal addition only to red painted 12 meter yachts by an emergency meeting of the race organizers. The Americans went into the fifth leg seven seconds ahead of Australia too, but when their outboard motor ran out of fuel, the Australians regained the lead. The defending boat Liberty picked up the lead again after the New York Yacht Club voted that a high speed nuclear submarine attached to Liberty was a quite legal modification to the keel. The American boat led by two seconds into the final leg, but a small nuclear accident aboard their modified keel lost them valuable time. It was a tough tussle to the finish line with Liberty making excellent headway and closing the gap on Australia 2. Australia 2 finally crossed the line two and a half hours ahead of Liberty, a margin described as close by the American race organisers. As the gun went off, signalling the finish of the race, skipper John Bertram slumped to the deck with minor shotgun wounds. The New York Yacht Club described the slight wounding of Bertrand as an unfortunate incident and said that he was lucky that their regular gun, an 80mm Wurlitzer, I'm sorry, that's Howitzer, wasn't working that day. Bertrand, however, recovered for the presentation, which was delayed while the cup was cut loose from its pedestal. And just to recap, Liberty has come second in the competition for the America's Cup. So, so from, from ABC, ABC News, News, it's good night. night. Here's proof that the ENG Resolution Loss Centre really works. I said it would only take two generations, and they were right. Most of my other programs looked a bit soft, and I didn't want this one to be the odd one out. They made the pictures look all smudgy, you know, like those, those American programs. I say anybody with a program with excess resolution should go see the Resolution Loss Centre people now. Join the Resolution Loss Revolution now! And to celebrate the forthcoming opening of four new centres in the ABC, you can lose twice the resolution for half the price. There's an ENG Resolution Loss Centre near you.